welcome welcome all crafters and designers in this video i show you how to use my graduation shirt camo frame okay um when you purchase uh the bundle you will get a uh, png files and you will get this kind of frame with it and i'll show you how to easily drag and drop to create a design for a shirt my measurement my page is 8.5 by 11 and you can use this also in the free version of canva so let's get started i'm going to uploads and i'll look for some um images i have let's say you see i have our uh, grad images in here our uh, graduation images i will select it and then i will stand on the image and hover with it and you see the background will copy it you see it is just drag and drop okay and, and also this word congratulation here right here is also a camera frame and um i can come here and color it like i want to if i want to put it pink or purple or blue or whatever color i want okay whatever color you go to the green i i you see you can choose the colors you want okay or i can still drag and drop an image in here let's go see another you can go in uh elements you can look for different elements that you want let's say you go to the background let's see Okay, these are in, these are in photos. You see, click the background in here, and you can select it and bring it over the text. Bring it over the the, the part where it says uh, "Congratulations," and then release it, and then you see it in here. And for the senior, you can do the same. You can upload the file and do it in here, or you can even use um color from canva itself color here or you can drag and drop a background from here let's see you see you can use whatever color you want it's up to you and you see the background here the the yellow not the yellow i'm saying yellow the white part here this white part here you see there's a black black background here if you remove this you will find this one but it's also a color here you can make it choose whatever color you want i'm gonna make it pink choose whatever color you want to add in there and this too the black part you can choose what color you want to add in there what well, it's up to you what color you want to put in there you can choose whatever color you can um yeah it, it, you can drag and drop a background to it because it's not a frame and here too you can um you can also drag and drop you see you can also drag and drop a color in there mm -hmm. i'm just putting things um uh, i don't fix uh, i don't focus on the color i'm just so showing you that you can drag and drop here you see the class here you can come back to um elements and find what color you want to do which one you want to put in there and then go over there and you need to hover you you, you see the 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 arrow should be in the in the frame for it to catch it okay so this is how you do it this is how you do it let's see this mm. okay this can like yeah this is how you do it you can change it up um one, one other thing i want to show you i'm going to duplicate this really quick and then i'm going to when you want to take it out you just delete the image okay and then you take it out okay one other thing you can do too you can come in here and just add a color let's say you want to add this as a background and you want to add your image in here if you if you 
don't have a Canva Pro, you only have Canva free version. You can also go to remove.bg. Remove.bg. Okay. And upload your emission here from your computer. Let's say I want to add this image to it. I remove the background like this. I download it into my computer. And I go back here and I upload it. Upload. Upload it right here. I upload it. Here it is. You see, and then I bring it in here. Like this. Be careful that does that doesn't have this doesn't happen. No, 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 no. Let's see. Go here and here you have all the the layers. You have all the layers in here. And this is this layer. Okay. And we want to put this layer um oh congratulations <laughs> it should be under congratulations sorry yeah under there and then you can drag it drag it a little bit oh don't let this happen leave it right in there okay and then you can drag it like this and then <clears throat> You can add more whatever oh, oh, images you want to add, but you can make it big and make it bigger. So I like I say you go to a position and then you will do this. Okay. Mm -hmm, I love it. And look, if you want to color this, you can come in here and choose a color if you want to color it, whatever color you want to put on it. Okay it's up to you i just color things i just show you how it should be so this is very helpful if you want to change this let's go down here if you want to change this we can still change it let's see let's see if we can change the black to something else oh yeah you can change the black to another color to blue we don't want blue purple no i'll keep it on black okay everything is in here um, 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 um i just put colors together you go and choose your own colors the back even the background if you wanted to add something else there um, you go here and you choose all the colors you default colors if you want to have it like this have it like so boom 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 you have it gradient colors so it's up to you what you want to do so i show you two ways i show you one way you um like you drag and drop the image into the the thing itself okay and one and, and change the other thing and one where you you don't drag and drop the image you give you put on you you go to remove that bg okay and you remove the background and then you download it into your computer and then you uh, upload it here and you um choose a color for the background and you put your picture on top of it don't scroll too much with your picture the other thing you can do with your picture you can when you bring it here you can make it bigger and make it smaller if you hover with it over the image it will the, the 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 frame will grab it and you don't want that if you want to if you want this uh model this way there are two this and this so with my frame my graduation frame you are able to create a t-shirt with a no time and after you, you do this if you have the free version of canva it will you can download this your design 
but it will have a white background okay and um if you have a Kava pro you will be able to download the background or, or download the image with the transparent background look at this so here and you change your file type to png and transparent background you can check the box that's when you have Kava pro you see the crown here you can you can download it here is your size let me see if I, if I, I will drag it up to Mm -hmm. yeah around here i think it's um 300 dpi around here this number okay and i will download in let's check them out Okay, here they are. I'm going to extract them. And here they are. You see the files here? And um, you can print them from here. If you want them bigger, you can bring them into, let's say, Silhouette Studio. Here I am in Silhouette Studio. Let's say you want to print it on 13 by 19 sublimation paper. You come in here. Go to page setup. Your media. Your media is, uh, you go to uh, custom. Custom media. You put here 13. Enter. Height 19. Enter. And then you can remove your your cutting mat okay okay we don't need cut border we're not cutting anything right now this, this is not good here the print border won't print right right for you let's change the print border you go to file print page setup and you go in here size super b 13 by 19 the same portrait you choose your computer where you want it to be on which cassette you want it to be i put mine in too and i select it and then you see i have my cut border and now i will bring my image into here i will merge it okay where are you my image is in here okay my image came in big i lock it and i will here should be the width the width should be 12 not the height the width okay and here i have my design it's within my paper and i will able to i will be able to um print it to print it out on my computer on my printer let's see it will print out You see it i will be able to print it out okay so this is what i wanted to show you how to use my um graduation or Canva frame to make t-shirts thank you so much for watching and um if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and if you want to purchase this i will leave the link below for you thank you bye